Happy Thanksgiving. We are getting ready to make a classic bread stuffing. Now there's a lot of different kinds of stuffings out there made with all kinds of different breads and cornbreads and all that fun stuff. But today we are going to make a classic. We're going to be using a baguette. We're going to be flavoring it with herbs and vegetables and sausage, mushrooms, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So it's Thanksgiving. It's time for stuffing. Let's make a classic bread stuffing. So let's start off with our prep. I have two very delicious baguettes right here from my local club store. Um, they were freshly baked yesterday. But because this is a, whoo, let me cut this so I can get this open. Because this is a stuffing, we need to dry these bad boys out. So a lot of times you can buy the stuffing crumbs in the store but I love to buy a baguette and cut them myself because I can put a little uh, bit of herbs in them and have a good time with that. So this is an offset bread knife. We are going to be using the Dragon Storm on the vegetables, but I just cut pieces like this of the baguette. This is sort of similar like we're making croutons. Years ago, we did a video on how to make homemade croutons. And this is similar to that because I do add herbs to my um, bread when I'm drying it out in the oven. Even for stuffing, I think it brings a lot to the stuffing. Um, yeah, and the fresh herbs definitely bring a lot to it. Mm. Uh, cheating. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, okay. Mm, mm. And hold. Yeah. Uh, bread police. <laughs> I'm not really law enforcement. I just play one on TV. But okay, I'll let you off the warning this time, ma'am. Okay. So we're just gonna cut this bread into cubes. I have a big, huge bowl here. We actually used this on Halloween. We bought it for our makeshift um our makeshift punch bowl but it came from our local club store and it's great for stuffing because you need a very very big bowl so i'm going to cut up two baguettes it depends on how much stuffing you want to make do one baguette if you want to do you know a stuffing for a small group two baguettes if you want to do stuffing for a crowd. So I'll be right back. So we have the honor of using the Dragon Fusion Chef's Knife. The, this is the Dragon Storm version. And what's different about this knife is compared to the other dragons is it has some beautiful etching in here. Look at that knife. It is outstanding. I love my dragon fusion the regular knife and this is just an upgrade it's an absolute beautiful knife we looked at this on our uh last what's up wednesday and this is the first time that we're going to be uh checking this knife out so i just want to thank um dragon for sending this um i'm really honored to be able to uh try this out this knife won knife of the year at the blade show this year so look at that. Look at how beautiful that knife is. It is so well put together. It's sort of a uh, sort of a chef's knife and sort of like a Santoku because it's strong steel, but it's really, really hard. It's 63 on the Rockwell scale, so it can get really sharp. So let's try this baby out. What's great about it is it feels great in my hand and you can rock with this. So let's go. Wow. I love it. 
I'll put a link down in the description to this knife because it's a gem, let me tell you. It's really, really sharp and um, feels really good on my hand, in my hand. So I have like a whole bunch of celery here. I have like two, four, six, seven stalks of celery. You can put as much celery as you would like. I just happen to like a lot of celery. So that's what I'm doing. But you can do like five, five stalks. Um, we've got seven here. Sweet. This knife is amazing. This knife is a great Thanksgiving addition, right? If you're going to add a little new, um, a little bit of new equipment to your kitchen, it's a great addition. So let's cut some onion. I got a pretty decent sized onion here. Wow. This knife is amazing. It's very sharp. Mm. Nice. Beautiful knife. me in the eye a little bit so let me finish cutting this up so we have a full plate of herbs that came from Eric's container garden and we are going to use these in our stuffing so the very first thing we have is some thyme oh give me time in the way you'd use time you just strip these little leaves off you don't want to uh, chop up this big twiggy thing you just want these leaves okay so we got our thyme de-leafed and we're just gonna do a quick chop on there the leaves are pretty small but we just want to you know give it a chop here wow this knife is sweet <laughs> this knife is really sweet I like the angle, the shape of it, because it, you know, it just rocks on it. Great for cutting herbs. So here I got some rosemary, and I usually go pretty conservative on the rosemary because you can turn it into a Christmas tree. <laughs> We've talked about that before. It's, oh my gosh, it's so fragrant. Mmm. Can you smell it over there, Eric? Not that far away. Well, my hands smell from it because I am the one who harvested it, you know. Oh, he harvested it, so. Yeah, on the homestead. <laughs> You're funny, boo. So we're just going to give this a quick chop. Mmm. Really, really fresh and fragrant. I'm gonna scoop this up. We also have a little bit of fresh parsley, again out of Eric's garden. Spent any bucks on the stuff, we should get some harvest. <laughs> Engineered, yeah, the fact that this stuff is even surviving still. <laughs> <laughs> Eric brought it in and he has it sitting in front of a window. But I just brought it in five minutes ago. This you did? Yeah. Oh. That's been out there this whole time. Wow. That's tolerated all these freeze uh, warnings and stuff. Yeah. So my thoughts on the dragon? It's a sweet knife. Really, really sweet. Thanks, dragon, for sending this over. There'll be links in the description about this knife. And um, let's get cooking. Okay, now we need to dry out this bread. So we have our big, huge thing here. I have some olive oil spray. We're just gonna give these a nice spray. Woo! 
We're going to mix them up. We're going to give them a little bit more spray. Hmm. This is a really like fine mess. One time I like drizzled it in here and I just got a little too much oil in there. This is Bertoli extra virgin olive oil spray and it's organic. So we're going to take a little bit of this thyme. We're going to give our bread some thyme. Give it some thyme. We're going to give it a little rosemary. Mmm. Smells fantastic. And this olive oil will help those herbs stick to it. Um, yeah. A little bit more. We might need a little bit more time eventually. Wow. They look fantastic. So we're going to take a jelly roll pan. This is one of our brand new USA pans, William Sonoma Gold Tuck sheet pans. We're going to go ahead and put half of it on here. Spread them out. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put the other half on this pan. Mm. Woo! I had a jumper. So we're going to put this in the oven. I'm going to put it at 325 and we're going to dry this bread out. Probably take 30 to 45 minutes. You just want it completely dry. So while that's in the oven, we're going to prepare our broth and then we will cook our vegetables and meat. So this is a four quart uh, saucepan. This is our brand new USA pans pan. And I have eight cups of chicken broth in here. I made it from Better Than Bouillon. You can use whatever you like. You can use homemade or you can use from the box. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to let this simmer for a while. And what I'm going to do is take some of our onions and I'm going to put them, whoop, put them in here just so we can flavor up the broth. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to put some of our thyme in here. This is going to really flavor up this broth. One of the reasons I do this is this is going to take that edge off of the better than bouillon or, you know, the stock in a box kind of stock. Um, it's going to get rid of that flavor that... Um, is characteristic of that so it won't like taste like um, you know that broth so I'm just going to put three bay leaves in here and we're going to go ahead and give this a stir we're going to let this simmer for a little while to take on some of those flavors of the fresh herbs and the bay and the onions um, we probably won't be using this much um bouillon but the leftovers i'm gonna sip the soup so um let's get ready and saute up our vegetables okay so we have our 13 inch usa pan on here it's a big one i put a knob of butter in there and i'm gonna put some olive oil um, we want the buttery flavor for the stuffing but butter will burn and just turn brown so the olive oil will increase the smoke point of the butter. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our onions in here. We're going to start giving them a saute and until they soften a little bit. Mm. Starting to smell like Thanksgiving up in here. Mm. So the onions are softening up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put the celery in here and we're going to Cook this a little bit until it softens. Wow, this smells amazing. So I chopped up some mushrooms. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. 
These will add a nice uh, flavor to the stuffing. Um, I only cubed them up, so I might just mush them up a little bit more. Because I cut them into like slices and then half. So while they're in here and I'm uh, sauteing them, I'm just going to break them up a little bit so they're a little smaller. Okay, our vegetables are cooked up. We're going to go ahead and dump them. I took the croutons out of the oven. They're nice and dry. And we're going to go ahead. Well, this is heavy. Do you need some help there, Amy? Yeah. Here, oh, I got it. Here. We got our mushrooms and vegetables all in here. Ooh. Yeah, so let's cook up the sausage. Okay, I have about a pound of some sausage here. You can use Italian sausage, whatever sausage you like. We're just going to scramble this up uh, for the stuffing. Yum, it smells so good. So we'll be right back. So the sausage is done. I'm going to go ahead and dump that in here. Wow. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to put a little bit more thyme in here. I love the taste of thyme and a little bit of rosemary. Um, you can season this however you like. You can put salt in it. I don't feel like it really needs any more salt. I'm going to put a little bit of cracked fresh ground pepper. Not a lot because I don't, I'm not making spicy stuffing. And I'm going to dump our freshly chopped parsley in here. And we're going to go ahead and give this a nice stir. Ooh, that looks really good. This is classic bread stuff. So you could add apple in here. You could add cranberries, dried cranberries. It's going to sweeten it up. I kind of want a more savory stuffing, so I'm just going to leave it like this. But you can certainly do that. So we have our stuffing here. We have our flavored broth over here. And it smells absolutely fantastic. We're going to ladle this in and moisten this stuffing. Mm -hmm. Look at that broth. I mean, just adding that stuff in there, the herbs and the bay, and a little bit of onion really just brings the flavor up of that commercial broth. This broth is good anyway by itself, but it's really good when you... Um, when you flavor it more. So we're gonna stir this. We want this bread, it's gonna take up this broth. Um, you know, you can add as much as you like. Some people like their stuffing a lot more wet because it gets kind of custardy. Some people mix an egg in there. Um, I just like it like this. Cause this bread, over the course of baking, is going to take this liquid up. So let me go grab our uh, baking dish. Okay, so I'm going to butter this baking sh uh, dish down. This is just a 9 by 13. Not sure if it will uh, go over into a second one, but that'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just going to start from this one, give us a little butter down here. Mm -hmm. And let's get some stuffing in here. <laughs> wow. That looks really, really, really good. Um, I'm gonna have to put the rest of that in another container because we have enough for this. Um, gonna give it some dollops of butar. 
also known as butter. You know, it's Thanksgiving. Go for it, right? <laughs> Let me go grab another baker. So we got another baker here, and I'm just putting the butter on it. And we're going to put the rest of the stuffing in there. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Classic bread stuffing. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And get a couple nubs on here. And I'm going to grab some foil real quick. So we're going to put these in the oven at 350. I covered them with foil. We're gonna let them go 20, 30 minutes. We're gonna take the tops off. We'll probably let them go another 15 or so until we get a little crusty on the top. So we'll be back. So our bread stuffing is out of the oven. It was about 30 minutes with the cover on, about 15 minutes with the cover off. We got a little crispy action going on and it's time to take a taste. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit here. Mm-hmm. Get some of that sausage. Ooh, it's nice and moist. Looks really good. Okay, let's take a taste. Mmm. It looks really good with the mushrooms in there. Oh, let me get some mushrooms. Mmm. It is so savory. Um, I really think uh, flavoring the broth really makes a big difference. Whoop! Jumper. Jumper. <laughs> mm, another jumper. Mm, it is so good. The sausage and mushrooms um, together with all the herbs makes it so savory. Mm, it is really good. Put a little gravy on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. It would be fantastic. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Mm, it is so good. A lot more substantial when you use a baguette than what you would get with just using crumbs out of the grocery store. Um, mm, it's really good. If you add some apple or some dried cranberries, like I said, it would give it a little sweet taste. But the pure savory. Mm. Pure goodness. Mm. Now that's one happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We asked me. So cooks, happy Thanksgiving. It's right around the corner, and this is a really great bread stuffing. Um, after Thanksgiving for Christmas, we're gonna do a cornbread version, and just a little different play. There's a million different ways you can do stuffing, and it's all fantastic. Um, but this one is really, really good. Uh, try it. You'll love it. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Leave me a comment and a like. Also hit that bell so you'll get notifications of our uploads. If you want a copy of this recipe, visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. <laughs> you can also catch me on social media at facebook.com slash group slash amylearnstocook. On Pinterest and Twitter, I'm at amylearnstocook. And on Instagram, I'm at cooking with Amy. Mmm. This is so good.